Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Although college visits for November are finished, seniors, today is the deadline to sign up for the Pikes Peak Community College Application Day, which will happen next Tuesday, December 4th. December college visits kick off next week when the reps from the Universal Technical Institute stop by on December 6th. If you are interested in becoming a technician in the automotive, diesel, marine, or motorcycle industry, this is the visit to attend. Freshman sophomores and juniors. Remember to stop by the counseling center to pick up and return permission slips for the mill tours. The tour is on Tuesday, December 11th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Your permission slips must be in by Tuesday, December 4th. Ladies, remember, the mill could be a really good career path, so you should sign up as well. Remember, college visits happen during advisory and at lunch, so be sure to pick up your pass from the counseling center. And if you missed any of these dates, you can always check on the counseling center website or calendar. And and now, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Cheyenne Gallier. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. We're kicking sports off with basketball game dates, so mark your calendars. Our men's team will be traveling to Pueblo South next Thursday, December 6th, for a game at 7 p.m., while our ladies are back in Bowers the following week on Tuesday, December 11th, against Fountain Fort Carson at 7 p.m. This is going to be a great year. You should come out and support our basketball teams like Rex's Rowdies do. The forensics team is on the road again this weekend for an NSDA meet at Liberty High School. We wish them the best of luck and we will have the results for you on Monday. Mark your calendars for Monday, December 3rd because that's when our Lady Grizzlyators swim team jumps back into the pool to kick off their season against Manitou Springs at 4 p.m. If you've never been to a swim meet, you should totally check these out. Our wrestling team is on the move this afternoon as they travel up north to TCA for their first match of the season at 5 p.m. Remember, we have some ladies wrestling this year, so you should go out and cheer them on. Ride them, roll them, and get those pins glad. Glads. Remember, the school store is having a huge sale on gladiator gear. Most items are 20 to 80% off, but only while supplies last. The school store is located in the cafeteria, and you can shop on Mondays and Fridays at lunch and Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays before school. And now, here's Damon's Dose of Health. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health, and today is all about social health. More specifically, we're going to be talking about friendship. An important component of friendship is understanding that we are the company we keep, and so the people you hang out with will have a, either a negative or a positive impact on you. My suggestion is that you find people who are trying to move in the same direction as you, and continue on with them. Some of the values behind friendship is an increased sense of belonging, increased happiness, boosts happiness, reduces stress, improvement in self-confidence as well as self-worth, and friendships help you cope with the daily stresses that we all face. It was C.S. Lewis who said, friendship is unnecessary. Like philosophy, like art, it has no survival value. Rather, it is one of those things which gives value to survival. I would just highly recommend that you guys watch the company you keep and try to find those good friends and keep them. <laughs> this is Damon's Dose of Health. Thanks, Mr. Damon. That's great information. That's it for your Friday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. Have a great weekend. Now back to Kieran and Ethan for more news. Thanks for keeping us posted, Cheyenne. Glads, did you know that not wearing a seatbelt is one of the riskiest behaviors for students in our age group? Even if you are in a low-speed collision at, say, 5 to 10 miles an hour, you can sustain some traumatic injuries. Don't believe us? You're in luck. Because today at lunch, you can come experience the convincer for yourself. On the convincer, students can experience a low speed accident to show us how important it is to always wear our seatbelts. The convincer will be staged outside between the counseling center and the science wing. Come see how physics plays a part in our safety. If you have a sweet tooth, Senior Council will be having a bake sale next Wednesday, December 5th, during advisory in the Lower Commons. They are also holding a drawing for a cake from the bake sale. You can purchase your chance to win a whole cake today at lunch or next week on Monday and Tuesday in the front of the main office. Those tickets will be $1. Freshman Council will be hosting a hat day next Friday, December 7th. As always, you can buy your wristband for a dollar or you can donate a canned good or other non-perishable items for the 180 Club food baskets. 
You can get wristbands starting next Thursday and Friday morning before school or see Ms. Hines in the math department. Glad. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be telling you about several fundraisers to benefit the WSD3 toy drive as well as the 180 Club Christmas food boxes. Both of these drives are critical to our community because they benefit our students and their families. If you are able to donate, please do so. Here's the information for the 180 Club Christmas Food Basket Drive. The club is trying to provide holiday meals as well as meals to cover the 18 days we'll be out of school for over 30 families. Many of our students depend on school lunches to eat, so this is often a hard time for some of our students and their families. Some of the items you might consider donating include food for a typical holiday meal, like fixings for green bean casserole, potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and box desserts. You can also bring in soup, including ramen noodles, peanut butter and jelly, crackers, or snacks like granola bars or pretzels, tuna, mac and cheese, microwave popcorn, oatmeal, or cereal. Remember, all these donations will go to the families of students right here in our school. Bring your donations to Mr. Sickmiller in room 5 so the 180 Club can start putting those baskets together. They will also take good old cash money. Thank you for your help on this very important event. And now here's the lunch crew with our menu. Happy Friday! Friday, Woo! Friday. Broccoli. One week down, three to go. Three more. And that semester's over. Please pay your charges. I don't want to have to call your parents anymore. You can pay me. You can pay him. He'll, he'll bring me the money. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so, so anyway, for lunch today is... What, is... what do you think for lunch today is? Wait. You're right! Super nachos! Oh, super nachos! With all the goodies to put on top. And then on Monday... Is there, is there broccoli on the super nachos? No. Yeah. No broccoli. Might be on the salad bar, but nah, not on the... Not on the nachos. Monday? Oven fried chicken. Oven fried chicken? No, oven baked chicken. Not fried, baked. Sorry. Oven yeah, baked. Well, oven baked chicken. Baked. Really good though. They do call it oven fried, but yeah. Okay. Bye. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, you heard Miss Betsy. Please pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria with Miss Betsy or go online to add money to your account. Glads, NHS has tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Come by the library to sign up for an appointment and pick up your pass. They can help you with writing papers, studying for tests, or just beefing up your grades before the semester ends. Listen up for these important yearbook notes. Yearbook prices will go up next week, but you still have time to take advantage of the $55 price by going to the business office or online at yearbookforever.com to order your book today. Save yourself some money and order your book now. Seniors, if you would like to ensure the yearbook staff received your senior quote, photo, and baby ad, check with Miss Kennedy in room 104 during lunch or after school. And finally, the yearbook staff would like to include photos of your whips in the yearbook. If you have an amazing photo of your car and you want to see it in the yearbook, contact Bailey Stevenson at this email address to get your car pick in the yearbook. Our jazz band traveled to the Legends Jazz Band Festival yesterday and came home with some worthy scores and results. Congratulations, jazz band. Remember, the marching band is having their mattress fundraiser tomorrow. If you are in need of a new mattress, Come by the school tomorrow and head to the small gym to check out their selections. The sale runs from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come out and support the marching band with your mattress purchase. Speaking of the band, they will be hosting Breakfast with Santa featuring the jolly old elf himself and his missus on Saturday, December 8th from 8 to noon in the small gym. You can enjoy a pancake breakfast, music, crafts, and of course, pictures with Santa. It's a fun community event that is sure to get you in the holiday spirit. One more community event is sure to jumpstart your holiday spirit is Whitefoot Parks and Rec Holiday Tree Lighting on December 5th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come enjoy photo booths, s'mores, holiday shopping, caroling, hayrides, cookies and hot drinks, and of course, Santa Claus. Four food trucks will be staged for your dinner needs, and you can also bring non-perishable foods, new unwrapped toys, or gently used coats to help our local families. And finally, Glads, have you earned power tickets but don't know what to do with them? Did you know you could recognize a special teacher with a reverse power ticket? Here's a little video to show you what to do with your power ticket and how to show our teachers some power love. Uh, what do I do with all these power tickets? Did I hear power tickets? 
That's not important. What is important is knowing what to do with those magical pieces of paper. The first thing you can do with your tickets is turn them into the box in front of the attendance office or the counseling center to be entered into weekly drawings. Secondly, you can save those bad boys until the end of the year and earn cool prizes such as gladiator gear, a free yearbook, or even a free prom ticket if you are a junior or a senior. Also, do you have a teacher that shows power and has made your school life the best it could be? Then you can write them a reverse power ticket that can even be aired on the news. Thanks, Power Ticket Genie. Now it can be a responsible and respectable student while getting rewarded. That's it for our Friday edition, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.